How many roads did you travel already? How many miles went by? Zofia Mazur, founder of Zofia Mazur Mentoring. And today I would like to share with you how to increase concentration and focus by only doing three simple exercises, mental exercises, of course. So stay tuned. I will share that with you. Now in the classroom, what we're going to talk about? <laughs> we are going to talk about how to master concentration. If you will know how to master concentration, you will have a key to your success. If you don't have it or you don't feel that you have success in your life, it means only that you didn't master yet concentration. So today I will share only three simple, uh, simple exercises uh, to increase and master concentration. Why do I say simple? Because to tell you the truth that uh, simplicity is a power. If things are simple, we can do it. If they are too complicated, probably they are not working well. And I truly believe that uh, if you master simple things to do, then you master your life. So now, what would be the first thing to master concentration. Silence, silence your mind. Silence your mind. Yes, it's, it is important to know how to do it. And because I was struggling <laughs> for many, many years, not knowing how to silence my mind. And mind uh, naturally is busy and thinking all the time. And we cannot like not think. Like say to yourself, stop thinking. <laughs> We cannot do that, but we can silence our mind for a while and start to silence your mind uh, one minute. Master that one minute first and you will see that it's going to be a challenge. So the best way just to go outside or stay inside and look at nature and, and start not to let your thoughts come to your head if you think that thoughts are coming from head, but doesn't matter, stop your thoughts and focus on nature, but don't even admire that nature, just, just, just look and uh, stay in that silence, if you can, as long as you can. Put a timer, one minute, and master that one minute over the time, over the week, over the two weeks, wherever it will take. But it is going to be important to, to know and have that feeling that you can do it. And then, if you master one minute, try to do two minutes. And then when you master two minutes, try to do four, three, four and five. Five minutes, if you can master five minutes, yes, it's good. It's, it, it, to tell you the truth that uh, what you will discover and I want you to, de to experience that because you know whatever I'm telling it's like from my experience but you will experience that uh, your mind it's not uh, that busy anymore it's not in that chaotic st uh, state and you will bring uh, that order to your thoughts somehow and you won't even know how so if your mind is so busy that you are losing yourself all the time in thoughts, you have to, you have to learn how to silence your mind. And this is the, probably the only way uh, to bring that chaos, order from that chaos of your mind. So how to do it? Now you know, silence your mind. The second exercise, very powerful exercise, um, is to ask the question, just grab the thing that it's close to you, like I have a, a CD case, and ask the questions, as many as you can. Get an interest in that thing, and if you will start to ask the questions, uh, you just start to wonder. And it doesn't matter what you hold in your hand, it could be more sophisticated, Think or just the simple thing like I have in my hands and why they use the black color here and uh, what's the purpose 
of the zipper. Questions could be very obvious and they, on the beginning they are going to be uh, very like easy questions. But then you will go deeper and deeper. What kind of ma material they were using here? And uh, why? What was the purpose of the thread here? And you're going to ask more and more and what kind of, uh, um, what, what, what kind of paint if, if any, they were using, whatever, it will come to your mind. So expand, expand by asking the question, uh, your wonder about the thing. So this is the second exercise, very valuable exercise. And if you are in nature, uh, take the leaf and ask the questions about that leaf or a stick or, uh, or a stone a and you will discover how interesting and wonderful the world is around you. So this is the second exercise. The third exercise, very important as well, start to write. If you hate to write, I don't know who to blame, maybe schools. <laughs> but if you start to blame schools, you know, you become the blamer. So better not to blame blame anybody and just start to write and uh, it doesn't have to be essays just write whatever you would like to write and you are able because you might think Zofia I'm not a writer and I don't know what to write maybe you write what you see on the beginning because over the time when you will master that writing you will discover that there are are a lot of things that you can write about, <laughs> believe me, and uh, you won't even stop and you will uh, discover that, uh, that talent, that it's not discovered yet in yourself. And you don't have to uh, become a writer, believe me, but that writing every day uh, will push that energy of concentration and, and just make you a master. And if you are waiting for a um, better position in your workplace, those three exercises will bring you that position. Believe me. And you're going to be surprised how fast it will happen to you. You might say, but I don't have a time for those exercises. I'm working every day. I'm busy. I'm busy. You know, you will have to make a time because we all have the same time. And you will have to consciously make a time if you want to make like better of yourself. If you want to be master <laughs> of your life as well. So I shared with you three very valuable exercises that I'm doing all the time. Believe me, I'm not only sharing and uh, just, just with you so you can do it. Uh, but I'm not doing, I'm, I'm doing every day. At least I'm not saying that every day, five days a week. Five days a week is enough to master. And after a month, uh, after even uh, two weeks, you will discover that uh, something wonderful is going on with you, that you ha your curiosity, uh, it's like went up and, and your thinking is like uh, sharpened. And you going to be amazed of yourself. That's what you can do to your mind. If you will have the time to start those, those exercises. Uh, so I would like to encourage you. Because benefits are unlimited. And to tell you the truth. There, there is no limit uh, for those benefits. If you will do it for a longer, longer time. You will discover that our mind is unlimited.